it's always amazing to be here in Bali and every year we look forward to come here in December teaching a whole group of highly motivated world-class speakers to really express themselves in such a way that would touch the audience and for a lot of people it's a healing process as well so it's exciting for them and exciting for a trainer like myself to work with people in such close proximity. <laughs> Five days it's going to be amazing I mean they're going to learn a lot of stuff to do with you know um, using the body language using the voice and um, learning how to tell stories and also the most important thing is you know a lot of um, the, the, the participants who have arrived at world-class speaking masteries they they're not sure exactly how to deliver a presentation but we can give them the exact step-by-step -step format and how to do that and it's just just what I'm looking forward to the most is seeing how they transform and seeing exactly uh, especially the people who have no idea. I mean, we've got people in there who've just got literally no idea what, what they want to do, but by the end of it, you'll see them blossom like this caterpillar into a butterfly. And it's just it's such an amazing process to see. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't quite know what to think. I mean, it was, I knew it was about public speaking. That's. That was about the extent of my knowledge of this thing, really. And um, no, I, I find it very, very engaging. actually really eye-opening for me because I think I came with a sort of preconception of what it was going to be and I thought it was just going to be the next level of ultimate speaker camp but it was so much more it was really sort of stripping back absolutely everything and the way they described what we were going to go through and the emotions and the power that we're going to find and the transformations I realized it's not actually just about speaking it's about developing yourself as a person and developing confidence and just really looking inside yourself so that you can be authentic, find your message and deliver it. And I'm super excited about, I mean, day one has really revved me up. Feeling good, yeah, really raring to go. Um, looking forward to finding out new techniques and how to actually implement them, because that's something that I'm not very good at. So putting, you know, pen to paper is okay, but actually doing it on the stage, is, it's a different thing altogether. It's been good, like I knew I would get some of it, especially about the parts about talking too fast because I'm a very enthusiastic kind of person, so that kind of stuff, but like they've really been picking out all the small details and it's like the small details is what will take you like to the world class level as such. Day two of World Class Speaking Mastery, I'm feeling awesome. We didn't have much rest. Uh, your mind is buzzing, but energized. I love the people here, the energy. It's been in Bali, it's something else. So yeah, really, really pumped. Looking for day two. I did get a bit of a straight stage fright, I would say. So it was something, um, you know, I wasn't expecting um, myself, but because uh, I have done group teaching and things like that, but this was a different experience being on stage in front of uh, peers doing the same thing, which uh, was out of my comfort zone, maybe a little bit. But uh, I enjoyed it, and um, in the evening, by the evening, it felt a lot more all together, and, um, you know, Progress uh, was definitely there, feeling more comfortable, 
with uh, being in front of people talking about a topic that I know about and love. It's very different to a lot of the um, other world-class speaker masteries because the energy that when people come, I think there was a lot more tension um, in the room. A lot of lot of people weren't sure what to expect, um, and, but obviously going through a lot of the, the the training to start with, you know, people really started to open up. And just even with Vincent's first session, it's um, just been an eye opener for everybody. Very very challenging. So yesterday our presentation on our contents was very challenging. I went home and I cried. But I, f I feel strange today. Today is just different. I feel more energetic, I feel more positive, and I can't wait uh, just to see what comes up next. Yeah, it's, it's, I know it's intense, but uh, it's, for me, it's uh, look like uh, I'm in the sea, but I don't know how to swim. But they do help me, give me a, a little bit, something help me on my arms, and they give me a little bit help my, maybe another arm. So I start to feel I'm not thinking, so I'm learning. Yes. And I believe after five days, it probably changed my life. Oh, absolutely amazing. Um, I've learned a lot of new skills which I never knew before. Some I have got a bit of ideas previously, but uh, to put everything together now, it com all comes into one fantastic piece. And uh, I've seen a lot of transformation in myself already uh, and the rest of the team that have been here. It's absolutely amazing and uh, there's just no words to explain how beneficial I think this is going to be for me and the rest of the team. Today I'm going to show them something entirely different. Today it's all about the power of emotions. Because as a speaker, if you don't actually have emotions, you are just basically acting on stage. Because if you want to be truly world class, you have to have the courage to access your own emotions, open yourself up and inspire the crowd. so badly um, it's very an emotional feeling because you just want it so much and when you feel it's there you know it's like when people win an Oscar and they cry I'm not winning an Oscar but when people cry when an Oscar it's the overwhelming emotion the relief that they finally have what they want in life and for me it's that when it's so close and you can feel it, it's tangible the emotion is overwhelming because that's what I want out of life and that's one of the reasons I came to um, world class speaker mastery with wealth dragons. Whether you're a speaker already or whether you're you know just somebody who's just not sure what they're doing they will find a way and this will help you regardless of what profession you're in. Um, yeah being a yoga teacher I'm here I don't know how I was going to use this but I can see it being opening up so many doors because of it really. Have I changed? I think so. Um, I'm, I feel more confident you know I feel more um, ready to present or ready to talk about things in front of other people. Um, everybody has a lot of knowledge within themselves on different topics and you know even sharing some of that may be useful to others. Um, you know, as we all get older in life you know we might have a little bit of wisdom that might help other people from our experiences. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
I personally haven't really been involved all that much in this you know, personal development stuff, but uh, my biggest sort of sort of preconception about all this is, you know, these things have been going on for, for decades, you know, how many millionaires and billionaires have they made, you know, as or how much of the promise have they delivered. But, uh, I have to say this stuff is um, provided that you are willing to put in the work. I mean, it's only five days, for God's sake. They've been doing it for 10 years. You can't, surely you can't expect to be as good as them after five days. But uh, if you keep going and if you learn the basics, you know, the solid foundation stuff, which they will do, they, they've taught me here, it's, um, I can see you can go quite far with this stuff. It's given me an opportunity to do things that I wanted to do and has highlighted things for me I need to work on, like um, getting used to it being okay to show my emotions after sort of being told at work and in other situations like why are you being emotional like you should be able to just like detach and put that away and at the moment I'm feeling really good um, it's been a really transformational five days I've learned a lot about myself and a lot about what I have internalized as part of my personality and learned that I can really do or be more than what I think I can um, I've really learned to come out of my shell especially on the stage and project my voice much louder Today is the last day. I'm excited to, to know what's going to happen today. Every day has been different and every day has been intensive and very good. I enjoyed every bit of it. I have improved a long, quite a long uh, way. And um, looking forward for today. It's sad to see that it's ending. I've been enjoying myself here with the group and uh, in Bali. It's a nice atmosphere and the service is good. After all this training, I go back without procrastination, which I'm taking off one by one. I will practice it and practice it until I become a better fluent speaker. Wow.